In today's Madden 21 tip video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing plays in Madden 21. This might be one of the best passing plays in Madden 21, and I'm going to go over why in this video. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my YouTube channel here. Uh, we are posting four times a day here on YouTube some type of tangible strategy, tip, or tactic that you can utilize to make yourself better at this game. Guys, this game is really cool this year, in my opinion. There's a lot of things that I would like to see change, but overall, I think this game is really, really solid. Uh, I think this has the potential to be one of the better Maddens ever, and uh, we're going to talk about why uh, with this route concept, something you can utilize very, very consistently. This gun two back out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. If you've not checked out the Arizona Cardinals playbook, I've written an entire guide on the playbook. And so if you want to pick up that guide, you can. It is in the description of this video. All right, so gun split slot. And the play we're going to be talking about today is PA Flood. This is one of my favorite passing plays in the entire game. And here's why. Uh, we're going to first focus in on beating man-to-man -man coverage. And then we're going to be uh, talking about some other coverages as well. The first thing I like to do is I like to take Lazard and I like to put him on a little slant and you're going to see I'm going to motion him to the left side. Once he crosses the left tackle, I'm just going to snap the ball and you're going to see this is one of the most consistent man beaters in Madden 21. These motion slants are so difficult to guard. Literally, uh, what you'll find is your opponent will devote a quite a significant amount of resources to stopping this route. This route does not necessarily need a route camera or anything. You really just need a fast receiver. Uh, even if you don't have a fast receiver, this is going to be very, very consistent. You're going to see you're going to be able to consistently get this little quick pass here out of the gun split slot out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. And again, I talked about this morning how this playbook really does a good job, in my opinion, at running the ball. They have some really, really good running plays. You mix in the passing plays from this, and you're going to see this little route right here is going to kill man-to-man. -man. Now, you're not here for this route, right? You can hot route this on any play. So we're going to go over the next couple routes and why they beat man-to-man -man coverage and what you can learn. All I do is I put... Lazard on a slant. I take Aaron Jones and I will typically put him on a wheel route or a quick flat if you have route apprentice. But basically what you'll see here, Aaron Jones's man is going to have to run all the way out there. And this is a quick pass in there. I didn't get it out there quick enough. But this is a little quick pass that I like to use, especially in man-to-man -man coverage. If you're seeing a lot of man-to-man -man coverage, basically one of these two quick flats are going to be wide open. So you see here at the snap ball, I can just get it out here quick and see how it's basically too long for them to get their guy out there doesn't quite get out there quick enough you could hit this very very quick against any man-to-man -man coverage what's also really good about this is this little table route here to williams passing that to the right you can see it's not always going to win but most of the time this is a really good read against zone coverage uh when you see people go to zone coverage you're going to see this route's going to be very very consistent part of it's also the fact that they are in dollar defense because he's not if he was covered by a linebacker this would be a little bit different let me show you, uh, let me shift this defense into, um, let's see if I can go man align, let's see if that makes a difference, I'm not sure that it will, but this, if the, if, the, if the linebacker was guarding Williams, Williams would be wide open, so basically whoever the linebackers are guarding uh, in this set here, uh, this is going to work really well. You see this route to uh, Devontae Adams, very, very good route if they're pressing, because if you have a number one receiver who can get off the bump, Right, this is going to be very, very consistent uh, to hit Devontae Adams. Watch here, snap a ball. He's just going to beat press to the outside, and you can typically, you can typically throw that if they don't, if they take the safety away. Let me show you that with the safety taken away. That stock fade is one of the best uh, streak routes in the entire game. We're going to show you why here in just a second. But literally, if they take the safeties away, you see a lot of people are throwing their safeties on purple zones and all that stuff this year. What you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to hit this route to Devontae Adams right over the top of the defense. You'll see here he's going to get off the jam. Just wait till he gets open, lob it up, click on, and you're going to go get it with one of your best wide receivers. You got a number one receiver, you got a Tyree Kill, you got a whatever. You know, this play is going to be very, very consistent for you. Right, the next thing I want to show you is really the bread and butter of this play, and that's this route to Varquez Valdez scaling. This route's one of the most hardest most difficult routes to stop in Madden 21. As you see, it's going to absolutely roast the man-to-man -man coverage. What's also really good about it is it's going to roast every single zone in the game. There's not a zone in the game that's going to be able to compete with this. You're going to see PA Flood is going to absolutely torch uh, really anything the defense is going to do from a zone coverage perspective. You'll see here, this is probably the best zone cover four, and you see it's going to absolutely torch it. I mean, it's just going to consistently work the ball up the field against zone. I want to go back to what I was talking about, about these little quick running back routes against zone. I think these quick running back routes are what make this, this uh, formation so effective. What you'll see here, against zone coverage, you can throw quick balls right in here to Aaron Jones. And against zone, you can actually get a good three to five, a good quick three to five 
quick three to five, quick three to five. And what that's going to do is that's going to open up some of your deep down the field passing. Um, if they send a blitz off of either side, you got two quick flat reads, really any zone blitz in the game. But what I love is hitting this quick flat here to Williams and getting a quick five, just pounding them with a the quick pass game. This play right here will do just that for you. Now, again, if you want to run cover two, let's say they run cover two on you. This play torches cover two. All right, you're not going to be able to run cover two against this play, even if you put the middle linebacker in the deep blue. On the outside, you got a route that we talked about today as one of the best streaks in Madden 21 because it's going to consistently beat the cover two. As a general rule, you want to run that streak to the wide side of the field. So I'm going to show you that in this. We're just going to respot the ball, and you're going to see that it's going to actually make a big difference on how you're able to get the ball out there against cover two defense. So we'll show you here cover two, and we'll show you our motion, motion slant to Lazard. And basically what I'm doing is I'm looking at the streak first and then I'm working the quick reads to the backs and then I'm looking at the slant. But as you see right there, you're going to absolutely be able to torch cover two um, on the sidelines. That's what makes this play so good. It can beat pretty much anything the defense is going to do, especially if they're in a nickel package. If they're in a nickel package, this quick route to the running back is going to work a little bit better. But you've got these two crossers right over the middle of the field. To me, makes a big, big difference because you're going to be able to easily work the ball up and down the field with this, especially if they run man-to-man. -man. Like, I love this play against man-to-man -man here, this little quick read to the back, get it out there, get a quick five, quick three, quick four. Um, these quick routes, quick hitting patterns out of this formation is really good. One of the other things that I will show you really quickly here um, that you can do with this is you can put um, both of your running backs – you can put them on little crossers, little mesh crossers. And what you'll see here, against man-to-man, -man, they actually do okay. They do okay. One other thing you can do as well is you can take Aaron Jones, put him on a little option route, which you see here he's going to cut to the outside against man-to-man, -man, and typically will beat that, break a tackle, and you're out. These ability to run these quick hitting routes against man, against the zone, are really, really going to open up a lot of what a, a lot of the other concepts that you're going to be able to do on the offensive side of the football. You're going to be able to move the ball up and down the field with this scheme. So we're going to continue with this little split slot mini scheme. Um, if you guys got the ebook, this will come as an update. There'll be a couple other advanced tactics that you can use from this. But this is a little mini scheme I've been labbing up this weekend at a split slot. I think it's pretty decent. Um, I think it does a lot of good things against defenses that a lot of people are running meta defenses and things like that but to me the ability to pass the ball and run the ball in the same formation is what makes it so powerful so i appreciate you guys checking out this video if you have not already i want to ask you right now to go ahead and join our channel discord that's where this all started I actually threw in the discord has anyone ever ran the shovel option didn't get much of a response from it got one of the guys air raid talk to me we started to have a conversation about this offense, what it could divulge into. And next thing you know, I'm doing a video on it. So if you guys want to get better at Madden, if you want to take your game to the next level, to me, the Discord is a no-brainer because that's where all the best players are. And that's where players are talking Madden every single day, getting better. So it's completely free to join the Discord right now. So be sure to jump in that. It's in the description of this video. All right, we guys, we have one more video coming for you guys today until our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock. So we'll see you in our next video tonight.